now we've talked about an inquiry question and sub questions and locating sources and rhetorical moves in terms of how the sources speak to sub claims and speak to your thesis statement that you're going to be having. As we start to think about where we're going to be going from here, um, it's, it's good to kind of think about how you're going to actually start to compose and have your sources incorporated into the writing that you're going to be drafting up uh, coming up next. So I'm going to start out by showing you an example of how we would kind of recommend not doing this. So what you see on the screen uh, is each one of these paragraphs leads off with the source. So the topic sentence has the source uh, in it itself. And so what this ends up becoming is a regurgitation of the, all the literature that was found out there. And so in many ways, it's much more of an annotated bibliography than an actual literature review because the sources are not brought into conversation with each other. They're all siloed into their own uh, paragraphs and they aren't speaking to each other and they're probably not speaking to you either in terms of your voice coming into it um, either. Instead, if we take those sub-questions and convert them into sub-claims, those sub-claims become the topic sentences and then we can bring those sources into conversation with those uh, topic sentences that we have established. So as you can see here, we have sources cited that are providing the evidence or providing the background, you know, depending on the rhetorical moves that we might be using and how we want to uh, back up the claims that we're making or reinforce them or explore them. And so each one of these topic sentences is actually coming from you as the author. You, uh, it's a claim that you're putting forward and then you're bringing the sources into conversation with it. So uh, your sources are not using you, you're using your sources instead. Now, as I mentioned throughout this workshop, there are lots of different options that you have in terms of getting some support along the way. There's the Hacker World Research and Writing Studio, and we are available to you online through chat and a Zoom room as well so that you can connect with us. We'll be happy to collaborate with you. Uh, go ahead and go to library.ww.edu slash rws. And that's going to get you into the research and writing studio. And then we have a series of online tutorials that are available to you that have a little bit more information, go into some of these topics in a little bit more depth uh, than what we've talked about in the workshop today. And that's available at the library information tutorial, which is at library.ww.edu slash lit lit. And that's where you can get a little bit more information. And with all that said, uh, we wish you the best on your research and writing, and we look forward to working with you.